Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another trying new makeup. I have a bunch of products to use. I've been pumping these out like crazy because there's been so many new releases after the new year, but I do want to say that I'm going to be doing follow-ups. I know a lot of you really want to see full reviews, follow-ups after I've used these products for a month or two, so that is coming. I have a box ready and I keep adding products and that will be coming soon. So for those of you that really just like the first impressions, we'll keep those going. And then for those of you that really prefer a full review, look out for that. I did want to say that that if you hear my husband shoveling snow or the truck running the dogs barking it's kind of like a winter storm here so my husband is off for the day and he's shoveling doing the neighbors drives the dogs are going crazy so we're just going to kind of try to ignore that but today I have the new Sephora best skin ever foundation this was requested by you guys I have a little story about this, but we'll talk about it when we get there. So that's a new foundation. I also have the new blush from M Cosmetics. This is the Heaven's Glow Blush. So they had two shades. You guys know I love them if you're, you know, been a follower of my channel for a while. But this is their new shade, Venetian Rose. I have not even played with this. I just swatched it. Also have a bunch of products from About Face. So this is the brand from Halsey, and I did order all this stuff. So I have a powder highlight here. I have a fluid eye paint, which I'm kind of trying to think about how I want to use that. Also have a couple of the lip paints, a lip liner. I also got the matte fixing spray. Look at this packaging. It's really cute. I got a gloss. So we're going to play around with all these products. Just see what we can come up with. Also have the new Kosas uh, pillowy powder. This is brand new finishing powder from them that they sent over. So I have one to try out here. I think I'm just going to use it as a finishing powder. And then I also have the Lunar Beauty lashes that I definitely want to try out. So a bunch of new products. I will link everything I use down below. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and let's go ahead and begin. So I've zoomed you in. I want to start on the eyes today. Yesterday I was filming and I started off with the foundation. Something did not work out and it was smearing. It looked dry, gunky, patchy. Really hoping we don't have that experience today. So I actually was filming and then some other things came up and I just scrapped the video because I was just having not a great day. So we're going to try again, reset. I'm going to start with the eyes. So this is new from M Cosmetics. This is the Heaven's Glow Blush in Venetian Rose. I adore this formula. They have Magic Hour, which is a really pink shade, and then they also have uh, Faded Clementine, which is basically like a suntan and a compact. It's gorgeous. So this is their third colorway. Haven't used it. I've only swatched it. I guess let me swatch it for you. There's something special about these. They have a glow to them, but they are not glittery at all, and they just almost look like you put... I don't know, like a radiant cream on, but they're a powder formula. So I don't typically use these on my eyes, but I thought we could try it out because I feel like it might look pretty and add some depth if we use that shadow paint. So I'm just gonna use this lightly. I'm gonna kind of dust it all over, but I wanted to give the lid a little bit of color. I'm excited to use this on my cheeks. I love this formula. Usually, you know, you get a lot of makeup, a lot of makeup comes out and sometimes things come out that are so exciting. And when I got this package, it hadn't been uh, released or shown on M Cosmetics, Instagram or Trend Mood. So I was like so excited. I sent them a message and asked if I could show it and they said, yeah. Okay. So we just had another crisis. <laughs> Maybe these matte paintages aren't for me. So I was trying to use it as a liner and I just felt like it's not dark enough and it almost looked like I was sick. Like I had, I don't know, something weird going on. So I'm just kind of redoing. I wiped it off and then I put a little bit of concealer on my lid and now I'm reapplying that blush. I'm gonna try to use these just on the outer corner just to demo it for you and show you the color. But I just don't know if these are something that I feel like I'll use, specifically this color. So a little bit goes a long way. So I'm going to go ahead and apply about that much, which may have even been too much, and start blending this. And I don't know how it plays with other shadows. I'm using that small brush, and then I'm going to go back into my first brush. They just seem to stick a little bit more than other formulas. You can blend them out, but I just don't feel like you have a lot of time. So you definitely want to move quickly. 
I kind of feel like I got a little excited about the about face line. And then I, when I got the stuff, I was like, mm, don't know if anything is really going to become a favorite for me. So that is what it looks like. You can see it's definitely added some depth, but I don't know if, like I said, this would be something I would reach for over my others. I love the Too Faced formula. I think it's the most user-friendly. It just blends the easiest. The Rare Beauty is pretty easy too. This one, I just feel like you really gotta go And I think for fun, I am gonna take just a little bit on the inner corner with a small pencil brush. See how it works as a halo eye? I was gonna stick to those products, but to add something fun in the center, I'm gonna go in with the Auric uh, Smoke Reflect Duo. I'm gonna take the shade Temper and just pat this on the center of the lid. I'm still playing around with these and seeing my thoughts on them. And I think this could be pretty just to use the glittery shade. I will say that the shade Temper, which is the one I'm using right now, is a little bit more hard pressed than the other two and definitely more sheer. I think Defiance and Ego are probably my two favorites, but I haven't used this one on camera. And Ego wouldn't have really went with this. So I went ahead off camera and did a wing. I wanna go in with my Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. I think I demoed this in one video, but I've been playing around with it. Again, these are some products that I'm trying to get full reviews for, and this went crazy viral on TikTok. I have to say, I am liking it the more that I use it. Definitely is lengthening for me, but I think, of course, it's really hard to tell when I have, you know, like a lot of eye makeup on. I usually just throw lashes on, but I am gonna put lashes on because I wanna try the Lunar Beauty ones, but you can even see the length that this has given me. So I am liking it. It has that really thin wand, but it's not, it's not one that hurts your eyes. You know how some of them are really spiky? This one's pretty soft. So now I wanna play with some lashes. I have new lashes from Lunar Beauty. There's four different styles. These are faux mink. We have Luna, which I think is sold out right now. Aries, these are the most dramatic. And I think you can still get these. So these are like the longer ones. We also have, I believe, Nova. These are kind of funky shaped. And then we also have the more natural ones, which are called Stella. I think Stella is sold out too, but I believe he's gonna restock them. For some reason, Luna is calling to me, so I think I'm gonna go for that one. All right, so here are the Lunar Beauty lashes on in the style Luna. I cut them for just corner lashes because I've been using them like that a lot lately, but they were super easy to apply, very dramatic and pretty. So now I wanna go in for our base. Before I go in with this foundation, I am going to conceal a couple blemishes down here just because I know this foundation won't cover it and it's really bothering me. So I'm just going to take a pretty heavy layer of this NARS concealer. This is in the shade a light 2.75, but I just noticed yesterday that this is a medium coverage. It kind of tops out there and I couldn't get it to cover. So here's what happened yesterday. I filmed with this. I just had such a bad makeup day. There were some other things going on uh, and I just felt like the day was just like against me. So I was like, you know what? Let me try again. I will say this did not look great on my skin. So I'm trying a different base today. Yesterday I used moisturizer and a pore smoothing primer. Instead of a pore smoothing, I went for this uh, Dominique Cosmetics in JD Weighty. This is the ultra hydrating complexion primer. It is basically like a lotion or moisturizer. It doesn't feel like there's any silicone or pore smoothing in there. So I'm hoping this will lay better today. So this is the new Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. They have 50 shades of this. So it comes in a frosted glass bottle with a plastic top pump. 50 shades. It is a medium coverage, liquid foundation, natural finish, long wearing, anti-pollution, hydrates skin for up to 12 hours and is infused with skincare benefits. So this is probably why it didn't work for me. I have a hard time with thick foundations, foundations that are hydrating, 
for some reason they really gunk up and show my pores they don't wear the best on me I just didn't love this but I want to demo it for you guys maybe it was just like a one-off with the primer I used so this is what the packaging looks like I have to say the pump is a little bit janky like it feels like it's gonna just like pop off uh, I did two pumps here you can see it's very thick it's not moving at all so I'm gonna go in with the sponge I used a sponge and a brush yesterday and I noticed the sponge just gave me better coverage and the shade I don't even think I told you I have 26 N which is light medium with neutral undertones so this is what coverage you can expect for me I would say it's a light medium you can build it to medium but it's definitely not going to go to full. And to get medium yesterday, I had to end up using about three pumps. So it kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay new hydrating, Hydromaniac. The Urban Decay wore okay, but you had to use a lot and it just feels very similar, very thick. So you can see, I concealed that with the NARS and now it's just like coming out again. I don't know. This foundation just doesn't work with my skin. I was reading reviews. It has pretty good reviews, but when you click on Sephora, one thing I've noticed is if you click verified purchases only, then you can really see the reviews. A lot of times I think the reviews are people that got it through like influencer or people that got it in exchange for a review. Uh, so you can definitely kind of weed through and see who actually purchased it and their thoughts on it. So I kind of try to do that. Sometimes it's a little shocking. There'll be like 300 reviews and only one actually verified purchase or none sometimes. And I'm like, whoa. So this is what the foundation looks like. I feel like it is a light medium coverage. You can build it to, you know, a medium coverage, high medium. I don't know if you could get to full. I used three pumps today and I feel like I'm at a medium, high medium coverage. I can still see, you know, acne scarring and a little bit of blemishes. I'm not loving it right now. I just feel like it's one of those that if I were to touch my face, it would just swipe right off. Kind of like the Morphe one that was swiping around. This one feels similar to that in the sense that it just like won't stick to certain areas on my skin tone. I'm going to go off camera quickly, do my concealer, finish off my brows, and then we'll jump in and try out the Kosas powder and the blush and kind of move into more of the Halsey products. Now that my concealer and my brows are done, I want to go in with this new Kosas powder. It's called the Cloud Set Baked Setting and Smoothing Talc Free Vegan Powder. It is a super soft sheer setting and smoothing powder baked with skincare that sweeps away shine feels like nothing looks like everything coverage is light and I have this shade here pillowy I have to say the packaging is super beautiful on this it's just very appealing it has a similar vibe to their bronzers but it just has this like almost like a light lavender white casing I'm just gonna go in with my uh, flat face one brush from Sonia G and use this on the perimeters of my face I set the center of my face with my Huda Beauty loose powder I do agree with them that it doesn't really feel like much, but I almost feel like it's not setting. Like the places that I've set still feel a little bit hydrated. And for me, that's just not gonna work. Today is just not my day with makeup, but you know, this is why I do these videos. If you have skin like me, or you like products like me, you can see what doesn't work for me. I went ahead and bronzed my face because I didn't have a new one. This is the Jouer powder in dark. I really like it. Now I'm excited to go into this blush. I love this formula. This is a product that I think I'm going to love just because I love the ones I have. So this is the M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Blush in the new shade Venetian Rose. Hopefully this can help save this look. It's so difficult when you use a foundation that you just don't love for me anyways if my base doesn't look how I want it then I sort of feel like nothing can be fixed I'm gonna pull a little bit just up here it's just so pretty the sheen it gives so for highlight I bought one from the about face line this is the light lock powder in the shade this bliss 
I'm a little disappointed because I thought it was going to be a really light shade, but it actually has the same tone as the new ABH one, that almost green gold shift. It's just not my favorite color, but we're going to try it out anyways. I'm going to go super lightly on the tops of my cheekbones. This color really isn't going to match what we're doing here, but... Yeah, I mean, it's fine, but I just don't love the color of it. I prefer, I don't like the green, I think, the shift to it because I feel like it's sort of hard to match with your other makeup. Like right now I have more of like romantic tones on and then when you put this highlight on that has almost like a green shift, it's just a little bit hard to match highlighters like this because I have more romantic tones on and then when you turn... Just that gold green, it sort of clashes. So now we're gonna move on to lips and finish off this makeup look. I have to say, I do think I'm probably gonna love the lip products the most. This is the About Face Matte uh, Liner in the shade Clockwork. So it's like a pretty nice, looks like a brown, warm toned nude, and they feel very creamy. Okay, very pigmented. Definitely like a warm tone brown. Pretty creamy, I feel like you could use this all over your lip and it would probably be decently comfortable. So I have to say I do like the lip liner. It's one of the standout products to me, something that I would probably use more so than the other things we tried. Before I go in with the lipstick, I'm gonna use a little bit of my Lawless Forget the Filler. I have been using this every single day. I just love the way this feels. You can use it over or under. I just like to put it on as a base before we go in with really drying uh, matte liquid lipsticks. So I have two shades here. I think I am going to go in with the lighter shade today because it's more peachy, but I'll swatch them for you. The first one is Ask Nicely. It's very, very light, but it is going to work well with the uh, lip liner that we have. So it's a very light pinky peach. And then the deeper nude that I have is a little more chocolatey, probably would match the lip liner. And this is Nudist Judas, very pigmented, but definitely deeper. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Ask Nicely, and again, it's very light. I'm gonna apply it to the center. It has, ooh, a minty smell. And then I'm just gonna take a brush, kind of blend it in. to the corners of the liner. You can even use your fingers. So I like the shade, but I wanna go back in and just... I also did pick up one of the lip glosses. This is the Light Lock Lip Gloss in the shade Prelude. This is what it looks like. And again, it has that same gold shift as the highlight. I thought it was gonna be more... Well, is it? It looks like it has that kind of gold shift. I thought it was gonna be more like the Fenty Beauty Diamond. Yeah, do you see that? I just don't love that. And it's a little bit too metallic. It doesn't even really feel glossy either. It has a minty smell. Like I'm not getting any shine, I'm just getting frost. Hmm. All right, and then the last product that I have to try is their Matte Fix Spray. This is an interesting just packaging. It has almost like a little bead in there. You shake it up, and the spray is actually really nice on this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that mister is heavy duty. <laughs> like one or two mists and I was like, whoa, like a super soaker, but not in a splatting way. It's like a fine mister, but strong. Scent wise, I don't smell much, maybe a light clean scent. Oh, okay. It's leaving little marks on my face. So I've turned my lights down. Do you see the powdery marks? I don't think I've ever had that happen. This is just not my day. Oh my God, how do you get them off? Okay, 
they're somewhat coming off. Oh my goodness, this day is just not my makeup day. Holy crap, I don't think that I can get them off. 2,000 years later. All right, guys, so here's my finished makeup look using all new products. And I have to say, this is probably one of my more disappointing trying new makeup videos just because a lot of the products didn't work out for me. A lot of the times there's a couple duds, but today there was quite a few that were just mediocre or I just don't like at all. So let's start off with the M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Blush. I used this in my crease and then I also used it on the face. Standout product for me today, one of the best, something that I really enjoy. I love this formula. It's so easy to use gives you like a healthy kind of glow to your skin. It's great if you have oily skin and you don't like cream blushes but you want a similar effect. This is just a beautiful formula. I'm excited to see them come out with another shade and you can use it on the eyes as I did as well. So this is a standout for me. Moving into the Auric. This is the Smoke Reflect. So I really like this but I think these are better suited to use together. So you have the mousse on the bottom and then you have the topper powder. My favorite shade is is Defiance and then I do still want to try Ego. This one's a little bit harder pressed which is Temper. When you really rub your finger on there you get a very slight you know glittery look like I use today but I think these are really beautiful especially if you want a one and done you put the cream on or the mousse underneath and then you go in with the topper. I just use it today just to keep playing around with it. As far as the matte fluid eye paint from About Face I think it's quite easy to use but it's not my favorite color. I feel like it looks super rich in the component but then when you blend it out it does kind of sheer out to me, it does teeter a little bit on that weird pinky, kind of like pink eye look. I don't typically have that problem, but something about the way it blends out, it blends out fine in terms of not patching or skipping really, and you can use it as I did today on top of a powder. I'm just not wowed by the color. I tried to use it as liner, it didn't work out. I just don't see myself really reaching for this much. So moving on to the foundation, I feel like looking at my skin right now, it looks pretty good. Overall, I was able to save it, and I feel like it does look better today than it did yesterday. Yesterday was a whole hot mess, and I really don't know why. I still don't like the way this feels. I don't like having to use three pumps to get the coverage I want. And I don't like the smearing specifically around my nose and over my blemishes that I tried to cover. I just don't really like the way this wears either. So I can update you guys down below because I did wear it yesterday. And even Ian, we were kind of sitting there eating and I was like, what does my skin look like? And he was like, not great. It just looked like not great on my skin. So after I set it and everything, I felt like it was okay, but I don't wanna fuss with the foundation that much. I just wanna put it on, I want it to lock in. I don't like the feeling of this just because it's thicker. I don't know how else to describe it. If you have dry skin, you might love this and just love the feeling, but for somebody with texture, you know, combo oily redness to cover, it's just not one that I think I'm gonna reach for. I just don't feel good in it. And for me, it's kind of like, why keep it or why keep trying if it's just not something that makes me feel confident. The Kosas powder, I really felt like it did absolutely nothing. It didn't seem to smooth. Maybe it set a little bit, but it almost feels like something that would be really great for people that like, barely setting their foundation, like a light dusting. For me, I like to bake, I like to set it down. I like to add my glow in with highlighter or a setting spray. This was not smoothing, and that's what I'm looking for, something that's gonna smooth my texture. I didn't notice it. It's a light, sheer coverage, doesn't give you coverage. So for me, it's not something that I would reach for because my powders are typically used for coverage, brightening, smoothing, and I didn't see that in this product. So I'll keep playing around, but first impression again, I hate to be negative, but like none of these products are really wowing me. In terms of the Maybelline Sky High, I do think that I am going to enjoy this. I think it's a great option, especially for the price. It's nice and lengthening. It's not going to give you a ton of volume. There's other high-end mascaras I like better than this, but I do think this would be top drawer in my top five rotation. It gives a nice amount of length and I can see why people like it. For me, nothing is going to make me look like I have falsies on just because my natural lashes are very, you know, they're light because I'm blonde. They're very sparse, but I do like this. It's growing on me. If you like a lengthening mascara, but you hate the ones that kind of prick or tickle your eye, this doesn't. It's very soft. So I think it's a good product. Do I think it's crazy like everybody's going nuts on TikTok for? No, but I think it's a good mascara. Of course, I loved the Lunar Beauty Lashes. I think there's a good array of styles. You have kind of two in the middle that are a little bit dramatic. You have a really dramatic one in Aries, and then you have the really more natural style, which I believe is called Stella. So I like these. I like the middle 
of the road ones and they felt really nice easy they didn't have a thick band and I like their filming I think the price is fair $15 or you can get a bundle which I don't know if he's gonna bring back but I will link down below but I had no problems with these these would be ones that I would reach for again in terms of the light lock powder highlighter from about face I don't love this I don't really love the packaging it's strange it's sort of slanted so to get it open you feel like you're gonna rip your nail off I just don't really like that the color is that weird gold shift when you swatch it it's beautiful and it's a nice powder feeling it almost feels similar to the Pat McGrath OG highlighters if you know what I'm talking about they she had like a pink shift and then she had a one like this that had that strong gold that's what it reminds me of. It swatches pretty, but on the skin, I just feel like, I don't know, I don't feel like it's really that crazy or blinding. I don't really like the color. The packaging is annoying to open. I find myself like trying to figure out how to open it without ripping my nails off, and I'm just really not that impressed with it. The lip liner is probably my favorite product from the About Face. Very creamy, very pigmented, easy to use, just nice. I would use this again. It's something that I would probably buy more of. I know she had an array of colors, so this is a standout for me, something I'll put in my top drawer and I'll get a lot of use out of. In terms of the liquid lipsticks or the matte liquid lipsticks, love the packaging. I love that the colors are on the components. You can grab them and go. You know what color you like. Very, very pigmented. A little sticky and I just don't know if I love the formula. I had a hard time blending them out. They didn't have a mousse to them at all, meaning that a lot of times liquid lipsticks will have a little bit of like that whip texture that I can really blend it into my lip liner. I felt like these were a little bit more difficult to work with. Could be because I put that balm underneath, but I do that with a lot of my lip liquid lipsticks, so I'm not sure. I like the colors on these, so I'll continue to use them, but they are, you know, that sticky, kind of dry down matte liquid lipstick. The gloss I absolutely do not like. It is is not glossy. I don't feel like I look like I really have gloss on and it's metallic and it has that green shift. When I swatch it, does that even really look like a gloss? It's weird. It's very silicone-y. There's not a high shine to it and I don't like that. It smells like mint, which is fine, but in terms of putting it on the lips, I feel like my lips are just sticky now with a metallic sheen, so this is gonna be a no. And then lastly, I'm super torn on this setting spray. I actually like the mister on this because it's very, like covers your whole face in a couple sprays. And I've heard some people rave about this, saying that their makeup lasted all day. Now, I love the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I had high hopes about this, but the powder drops, the white drops, I know people had an issue with that with a Too Faced setting spray. A I think it was like the matte peach or something. I never had that experience, but this is the first time I've had it that bad. I even had drops like in my hair, on my hairline, all over. Now, I was able to save her. I hope I got most of them. But actually, I feel like I'm seeing some right there now that we're talking about it. But who wants to fuss with that after their makeup? Now, I don't know if I sprayed it too close. I sprayed too much. If you've tried this, let me know down below if you had that experience. I do feel like it did set my foundation down, and I actually like my foundation more now. Almost like it did really just like mattify and lock my foundation in before it just felt a little bit tacky, kind of like the Urban Decay. It just has that thick, moisturizing feel, which I don't personally enjoy. I like a matte foundation. So this seemed to give me that matte feel, and I do feel like it's going to lock my you know, foundation in, but with the powder particles, am I gonna reach for it? I'll keep trying it off camera, but I wouldn't trust this on, you know, a day where I need to go somewhere. So that is everything for this trying new makeup. I will link everything down below. I hate to be negative, but you know, I keep it real here and there's just some products in here that I just really don't like on me personally. A lot of so-so products, but I wouldn't tell you to go run out and spend your money on them. And then a couple gems. So let me know what you thought of this look. I feel like in the end it looks fine, it, you know, but it's just like, do I wanna struggle while I'm getting there? Do I wanna have to blend a million times? No, I want ease of use, pigmentation, long wear, beautiful makeup, and that's what I'm looking for here. So let me know your thoughts down below. If you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.